everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog. So in today's episode, I'm gonna give you a comprehensive guide on how to install a catch can on an Audi TT 1.8225. Because scouring through it, it, um, the YouTube archives, I can't find anything that gives you a detailed um, installation. So we're gonna do that in today's episode. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into our work today. But first of all, let me show you the kit that I bought. So here's a kit in its entirety. Now I bought this kit from Cloud9 Customs. You may have heard of before on this channel because when I first started my YouTube channel around three years ago, I bought the um, rear seat delete kit from Cloud9 Customs, Billy Cloud, which was a really quality kit and Billy has gone on to have his own website. This is not sponsored by the way, I bought this kit and I bought it because it is a quality kit. It is one of the best value kits that I've seen online and it covers and um, so Billy supplies you with everything that you need for the kit. Now I've gone for the silver catch cam to in line with the theme that we're trying to uh, develop underneath the engine um, and I've also got the uh, brass um, a u-bend that comes out of the crankcase ventilation billy does a plastic one which is very similar or the same as the uh, uh oem one this is a better version of that so um a good option to go for and of course the kit comes with all the plastic containers and retainers that you need to uh, bolt the um, kit up and, and secure it as well along with this heavy duty 19 mil um, rubber that replaces all of the standard um, equipment. So good quality kit. Let's show you how it fits on the car. So with the manifold out of the way, you can see much clearer as to what we are trying to achieve. So here's the PCV system here. This is the pipe that comes out. And then you've got all of this pipe work here. So this here, we're gonna replace all of this. This is going to stay and this will go into the end of the inlet manifold. So we'll basically unclamp, cut this clamp off here. And then all of this bit here, all of this will go and all of this connects up to here. You can see where the split is in the system, just there. Nice clean split, that's where they normally go. And um, that's why we need to replace it. So all of this will disappear. Now there's a pipe that runs, because there's a T piece here, and that pipe runs into here. So you've got this puck, as everybody calls it, goes into the top of the crank case. So basically what we're gonna do is put a T bar in, that will then uh, go into the catch can, and we're gonna mount the catch can about here. Okay, so this bit here, we're going to take this valve out of here, because in here, would you believe this massive module, there is one single relay. So that's gonna come out, we're gonna rehouse that here, that's the popular conversion. This will remove and the catch can will sit around here. So that's the plan, and uh, that's what we'll achieve. So let's get on. Okay, so to get this tube out here, what you need to do, there is a little clip that holds it in place. You just need to pull that clip out. And then once you get that clip out, you can then extract, extract this bit, but you can't take it out and obviously until you get this off. So we're almost there now. So basically here is our system that we are removing. We've got everything out and now we're just up to here. So ignore this cable. So we're up to the hockey puck. So we're going to remove this clamp here and this clamp here. Then that's gonna free all of this up because we're gonna remove all that and then that's gonna free up this whole system, so let's do that. No 
and there you have it PCV system removed so that is essentially what you're going to come away with that's what you're going to cut out now let's get down to installing the new system but before we do that we're going to relocate this relay in here into this uh, this package here Now, one thing that you do need to do is that there, sh there is, when you take the um, J um, valve out from the PCV, there will be a little roll ring here, so that needs to come out. Make sure you remove that, okay, because you'll get a new one in the kit. So here's a valve that comes in the kit. You can get a plastic one, uh, which is pretty much the same as that one. I've gone for the brass one because that will last forever. It's not gonna break like these ones do. And then that literally just slots back in. See the O-rings on there? So the O-rings have already been put into place and that literally squeezes into place nice and firm. And that is it. Then, don't forget the circlip that goes into here and that keeps that into place. And when you put that in place, you may need to knock it down slightly with a plastic hammer because you want to make sure that the silver billet collar is below the circlip line. Then once that's done, you just put the circlip back in and that's going to make sure that that's in place. There you go. Just like that. So that is now going nowhere and that is sealed right pipe time here's a tip for you these hoses they can become quite stiff if you're finding it difficult to put them on heat them up in hot water this will make the end pliable and it will make it a lot easier for you to put them on back to the installation now although the kit does come fully prepared with jubilee clips i've actually got a whole lot of these clamp kits and they're really good they what the original oem manufacturers use and is you saw me with my uh clamp here and what you do with these is you get them on let's see you know you get them on so and then you squeeze that end like that and then that draws it together and makes a tight grip with, that will never come loose unless you cut them off like what I did. So where I can, I'm gonna actually use these rather than the Jubilee clips because I think they look better and they're a lot smaller as well. There you go, that's on there nice and tight and I'm sure you agree it looks much better than the Jubilee clips so where we can we're going to be using those. Okay so pipe, so what I've done I've placed the pipe in between here you can put the pipe wherever you want but try to keep the pipe as straight as possible so my pipe is going around here and then coming up here now my battery will be here at some point but we are going to fit an aftermarket air filter in there so we're not so worried about the positioning so this pipe then comes up to here and the next thing we want to do is prepare for the t-piece so the t-piece needs to essentially line up with this pipe here so here's my t-piece it's going to be around there so what i'm going to do is then just cut just about here okay so we'll cut that with my um uh, my uh cutting tool and then we'll slip that pipe on there and then we will then cut another piece to join that there
Right, so catch can installation. So the catch can comes with two different types of connections. So you've got this here, this clip here, and uh, it comes with the screws as well. That goes on like so if you want to use that and then you can hook it onto the back using that. So you can use it, hook that onto the back of the fly wall, I'll show you in a second. Or it comes with these clips here, these rubber mount clips which go onto the um, strut that goes across and basically you can either hook those there or there like that. Okay, so you've got various different mounting points. I've decided to use the struts because or the, the um, strut to fasten it because it um, suits my knees perfectly. Now the baffle itself, you've got the pipe that comes from the crankcase and then goes into the um, rocker cover. That comes in this way, then the out pipe here, this then connects to the cop puck or the, um, the, the little puck. Inside you've got this is the inlet, so that will go into the can itself, hence the term, catch can. And this is like a, a baffle that will then just catch any mist or oil from coming into the engine. And um, that gives you a bit of a cleaner flow going out there. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward and then just screws in. And it's as simple as that. So every now and again, what you'll do is you'll just check the can and empty it out. And where it's gonna be placed, it's gonna be easy for you to get to. So let me show you what I mean by the clip. So that will go onto the back like there, like so. And then that will allow you to clip the whole thing onto the back like that or elsewhere. I've seen people place them in, place them in here as well. I'm gonna use these clips here, which fasten onto this strut. And that gives me a, a bit more of a firmer grip. So let's put that on now, put it in place and then we can feed the final pipes into there. Okay, catch can has been installed and when it's here, it's a little loose, which is fine because you don't want it to be absolutely rigid because it does, it will need to flex. Um, but um, that now allows us to do the next bit, which is to connect this bit to here. And then our last piece to our putt, which is just here. And then that will complete the kit. And that is it. The kit has now been installed. Really simple, really effective. So you can see here, we've got our T-bar here put in place. This is not tight. And the reason why this is not tight because we're taking off this head to be uh, sorted. So there's no point tightening it at this stage. But then you get a T-bar then goes into our catch can here, comes out and then goes into our puck, which then goes into this uh, pipe here and and that's it so we've left it loose so that we can when we do put the air filter back in we've got a little bit of movement to move it back and forth as well and of course uh, Billy provides you with enough pipe work that even if you have to go and cut again I've got enough to do both sides so I'm very happy with that so it takes about 35 minutes to fit in and let me show you the manifold piece because obviously we've taken our manifold off so we can see you can see how this kit goes in um, easier than others have attempted to show underneath the manifold your um, original pipe will go into here don't worry about these two these are vacuum pipes um, they will be in place if you're doing this in situ and Billy he provides this little bung with the kit and that simply goes over like that to block off the vacuum and that is it and then if you recall this pipe here that we cut off well that with the manifold in place that literally just connects into here like so 
and then you will clamp that off with one of the uh, Jubilee clips that comes provided but of course I've got more of these so I'll be using this so um, the Billy Cloud kit is like I said the most cost-effective kit and um, the one that comes with or, or everything that you need you don't have to go and buy aftermarket so yeah hope you've enjoyed this and um, we will now move on to the next bit which is polishing this piece so I hope you've enjoyed this episode next week we'll be getting down further into the engine but I think next week will be our last engine mod we're We'll start putting it together next week, getting all the pipe works. We'll do that all in one episode, so it may be a long one. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe down here. Click on the bell notification so you're notified whenever we release a new video. And we will see you next week. Bye.